Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for May 15th to 16th of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an oracle message for Sagittarius. May 15th to the 16th of 2023 for Sagittarius. You could be eating marshmallows or s'mores in the next 48. Crow sovereignty. Wolf communication. Snake rebirth. And overall energy is crab retreat. You could be dealing with the cancer or have it highly aspected. So expect communication. I feel like somebody has gone through some type of change for the better or someone is currently going through a change so either this person is retreating from you or the communication has died down because someone is going through some type of deep spiritual change and they need some isolation so that they can go through it you could be communicating this to someone or someone could be communicating this to you yeah i feel like you or someone is going through a change for the better and it's a need to back off and let this person do their thing or vice versa. All right, let's get to the tarot for Sagittarius. I feel like, yeah, someone is strengthening their communication skills or something is changing about that as well. We have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Wow, Queen of Cups. <laughs> okay, Seven of Wands, defensiveness or standing up for yourself in a situation. The lovers, Gemini, the choice. So yeah, someone could be strengthening their communication, standing up for themselves. And you need to allow someone to do that because I feel like someone who used to retreat from situations is now standing up for themselves. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. So it's in a love relationship or family. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be love. Apply it how it applies. But because I'm seeing the king and queen of cups and the lovers and the ten of cups, I'm seeing it as love. But, you know, there's platonic love as well. Familial love as well. Now, this king and queen of cups could be both the masculine and feminine side of your emotions and intuition. You may have had to step away from a situation in order to communicate in a healthier way. Because it's like you don't want to tear someone down in order to get what you want. But you also want to defend yourself. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's clarify. You may need to step out of a situation or step away from a situation and allow two people to sort this out on their own. Or allow someone to learn how to stand up for themselves. Because I don't see that Sagittarians have a problem speaking up for themselves. I feel like you could be either teaching someone to do this or allowing someone to learn how to do it for themselves. Instead of constantly standing up for that person. Because I've never met a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius placement that's highly aspected who had a problem with standing up for themselves. Unless it, it was with like someone they love, they would take more consideration into it. So you may be having to let a cancer learn how to do this. All right. All right I'm getting the word judgmental. I don't know who's being judgmental in the situation, but we have the star Aquarius. Yeah. Healing king of wands. So you may be learning to be more compassionate in a situation or you may be defensive about being compassionate in a situation. Someone here may see emotions as weak or being vulnerable as a weakness, but I feel like you don't have to worry about it with this person in particular. Clarifying the Queen of Cups is the King of Swords. So it could be an, a cold, uncaring person in the situation. We have King of Swords, Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone could have become detached from their emotions, Knight of Wands. 
So it's like a cool, detached player energy. So you can see someone dealing with this energy. Put it where it goes for you. You could have like become flighty or have commitment. Someone has commitment issues and it was either to protect themselves from getting hurt or to protect themselves from feeling their emotions. And someone's going through a change or someone was dealing with someone like that and they've retreated to heal. Clarifying the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Yeah. So someone's retreating from a player, cold, detached person in order to heal. Someone, yeah, it's a water sign standing up for themselves. And because this water sign either retreats or stands up for themselves. Retreating can be a form of standing up for yourself. You know, I'm walking away. I'm not dealing with your bullshit, you know, or having boundaries and not letting someone move them, protecting themselves, standing up for themselves. It triggers this other person. The moon card Pisces could be the subconscious, a defense mechanism. So I'm seeing it in multiple ways. On the one hand, I see that someone has become the cold, non-committal or detached in order to protect the feminine or emotional or perceived vulnerable or weak side of themselves. They perceive vulnerability as a weakness. So in order for them to protect that part of them in the subconscious, they've become cold or detached. And I feel like someone has healed that part of themselves or it's been brought up to heal. And someone had to retreat in order to do that because we have a star here. So I'm seeing someone reconnect with that part of themselves. And I also see that someone is retreating from a cold, uncaring or player type, standing their ground in that situation. You may not realize that someone's dealing with this and that's why they're um, retreating because they're dealing with a player, a cold, detached person, or they're recovering from that experience. Clarifying the lovers is the queen of swords. So we have the King and Queen of Swords and the King and Queen of Cups. Four of Wands. So someone wants stability. Over on it, she's the Seven of Cups. Oh, Lord. This could be two different couples. One of them is very caring and very loving. While the other is just very cold and detached. You and someone could be matching each other's energy. I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made here. You could be living with this person or be married. I feel like there's just a lot of uh, confusion. I'm definitely getting, okay. So because, because someone has become detached or they feel the need to fly, it, <laughs> It's all over the place. Like one person has triggered another person into a fight or flight type of deal. We have fight or flight energy because of some secrets or someone's history or past. Also, someone's shadow side is to get defensive, detached and leave. I also feel like there could be a player. Maybe I feel like someone here, the masculine energy could be healing their player ways or healing someone's healing from dealing with um, a player. So, okay, put it where it goes because I'm seeing it in so many different ways. Someone is either healing from dealing with a player and they could be projecting that into their current relationship or carrying that energy around with them, whether you're in a relationship or not. And someone's healing from this. But you could also be currently dealing with this or witnessing someone go through this. And you may not want to interfere. Let this person sort it out on their own. Unless they come to you directly, let them sort this out on their own. Because there's a need for them to gain their own strength in this situation. Because someone has become defensive. And it's con confusing. And someone's also a player and manipulative. And someone's defending themselves against a manipulative player and choosing stability. Yeah, someone wants stability, union, 
not fighting with someone or within themselves. Someone could have like adapted these feelings in order to deal with people and it's manifested outside of them in their relationships. And so they're having to heal that within themselves so they can either, you know, heal their relationship or move on and find something healthier with the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. They have a warped, someone has a warped perception of love and union and family. And if you're in like a toxic situation like this, guaranteed both of you probably have a like a warped situ like a warped view of love and you're acting from your shadows and triggers and wounds. So it's not an excuse. It's just, you know, the truth. Or you could be witnessing this. But I see you're going through a rebirth. And someone needs to communicate that. Someone could be um like you could be pulling away from a person a situation in order to heal. And this person's accusing you of cheating. Because clarifying the Queen of Cups is the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Detached player energy or just detached and wanting to free themselves. But I do see that someone here is coming back. A flighty energy is coming back. But with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion here about a decision. Someone needs to ground themselves in order to make a decision. And if this isn't you and someone else, this is just you. I feel like the vulnerable or feminine side of you has become detached and flighty or non-committal in order to protect yourself. Even though she wants to feel and it's caused others to be confused and you to be confused because you've dealt with people like this or you're dealing with someone like this. Either way, you need to retreat from them. You need to retreat so that you can regroup and decide what you want to do. I'm going to read Crab Retreat. Cause I just feel the need to. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pull from these two decks as well. But I just feel the need to read Crab Retreat real quick. And you can take from it what you want and leave the rest. Never take anything that doesn't resonate. All right. Always put yourself first. It's called self worth. Honor your vulnerability. Don't give away your personal intimate secrets. Protect what is precious to you. Learn to walk away from what does not feel right. Time to visit the sea. So yeah, I do feel like there is a controlling player manipulator here. And if you're dealing with someone like that, seven of wands, protect yourself. Also, don't be vulnerable with someone who's cold and uncaring and detached in, in and out of your life if they haven't given you that same energy. Give someone the time and space needed to heal and give yourself that as well. But I do feel like on some level, you are dealing with a cold, detached player who wants you to be open and vulnerable with them, but they're not giving you that same energy. And that's a no. That's a double standard. That's imbalanced. That's manipulative. Seven of Cups. And it's causing you to be confused because they are confusing. Yeah, you're dealing. I'm just getting King of Swords, Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, cold, detached player, manipulator. All right, so I'm going to pull from this. Sagittarius. For those of you who have multiple options, there's a much better option for you with the lovers and the seven of cups. I feel like you have options in love or you will very soon. Stare clear of this cold person, this player. Ask people about their relationship history, or you don't have to ask them about their relationship history, but ask them what their longest relationship was and, and learn people's relationship history before you um, commit, especially if you know someone to be, I keep saying this, but if you know someone to be cold, detached, uncaring, flighty, in and out, non-committal, then don't deal with them. If you know you want stability, if you know you want marriage or home or kids or you want stability, don't deal with them. Don't trick yourself into thinking you, you don't want more. You could be dealing with a Gemini, with the lovers. 
could be dealing with the Pisces, with the moon, Aquarius, with the star. You could be dealing with any sign. Skull, transition, reality, grief. With That's like death energy, death and rebirth. Home, stability, stagnation, family. Eel, what lurks, electricity, dishonesty. So someone is being dishonest with you or you could be lying to yourself. Overall energy is book, hope, ignorance, revelation. Don't lie to yourself. That boy's a liar, okay? <laughs> or that girl is a liar, or whoever. Sagittarius. Overthink. Don't overthink it. You don't, you don't need to overthink it. You already know what you need to do. <laughs> Third party. So I do see, I mean, we have the king and queen of cups, the king and queen of swords, and then the, the king of wands with the knight of wands. And then the seven of cups with the lovers. So if there's other parties, like, don't question that. You know there's other parties. If someone's making a choice between you and a Gemini or a Gemini trying to choose between whoever and whatever, remove yourself from the equation. Third party energy, older, someone could be older, like, competes. If someone's trying to make you compete, like, leave. Don't just leave to make them chase you. Like, leave, leave. Like, be gone and don't come back type of leave. Inspired. I'm going to pull one more because I try to give everyone six. One more for Sagittarius. Now I can't stop thinking of that song. <laughs> I think it's, um, I heard it. My little sister played it once. It's by Pink Panthers and Ice Spice. And I think it's Boy's a Liar or That Boy's a Liar. Dang. February. So the month of February could be significant. We have romance. So you have a new romance coming. So I don't feel like this person or these options are going to be your only options. There are better options coming. There are better options coming. Okay. Don't trick yourself into having to settle down with any one option just yet. Like don't play with people. But if you're dating, keep your options open because I mean, just because you meet the next person and you don't have to just jump into it and settle down with that person. You're dating, so date. <laughs> yeah, romance. Email. Don't compete for no one. November 7th. So we have November 7th and February 7th. Fight. Don't do it. <laughs> Almost years. Wow. You could have known this person for years. I've been dealing with this for years. This this person could have come back from years ago or this could have happened. You could have found out something now from years ago back in February 7th or November 7th or something about a third party. But yes, I feel like someone's trying to make you fight and compete. And I don't think you should. Yeah, they're trying to inspire you with the romance to fight and compete or whatever. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Make them fight for you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.